Previously on Big Brother, 16 strangers began the battle for a half million dollars. Among them, the train conductor, ready? the Texas girl, the pizza delivery guy, the mom, the lifeguard, yeah. and the sister of a Big Brother legend. <laughs> After everyone moved in, I don't look like these people. I don't really talk like these people. Judd instantly became suspicious of Alyssa. She looks a little bit familiar. And Jeremy, Spencer, and Howard quickly formed the first alliance of the summer. All the way to the end is secret, and us three will go. Let's agree and then split hey, up right quick so nobody knows. The first twist of the night stunned everyone. There will be three oh nominees every oh. week. Why are you doing this to us, dude? At the inaugural head of household competition, oh. It was an epic battle of endurance. It off, and after Jeremy took a temptation, never not pass. Nice. McRae and Mick struck a deal. I'm not good for next week. Yeah. I can promise you that. I can promise you. Delivering the pizza boy a piping hot head of household. <laughs> but the Big Brother MVP twist changed everything. Every week. America will vote for the house guest they believe is playing the best game. And they will make that week's third nomination. Wow, that changes the game completely. Who will McRae nominate for eviction? Plus, tonight, will Alyssa's cover be blown? Doesn't she totally look like Rachel? Oh my god. And showmances start to blossom. I'm totally feeling you, like. <sighs> It all happens right now on Big Brother. The prettier you are, the more they're going to come after exactly. There will be three nominees. Every week, America will vote for the house guest they believe is playing the best game. That person, the Big Brother Most Valuable Player, will make that week's third nomination. Wow. Wow, that changes the game completely. This yeah. BB MVP will be informed of their status in secret and will also make their nomination in secret. Wow. I'll leave you with that. This is crazy. That's such a crazy twist. Whenever this house guest finds out that they are the BB MVP, they get to put anybody up on the block they want completely anonymously. That's a lot of power. And you can tell people up to your you discretion. You could if you want to, yeah. And so you could also totally lie. Yeah. 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 The scary thing about this MVP is that nobody knows who they are. It's like a secret assassin. Yeah. Like you're nominated, but you don't know who puts you there. It kind of changes everything. You got to yeah, be nice to so. everybody. I think that the MVP thing is an awesome idea because I think that I'm going to get MVP more than once. So I am all for it. I think it makes it hardest for the HOH because you put up two nominees you know, but those people may not go, be going home, so then you have two targets on your back. As HOH, I have to nominate two people publicly, and now I realize that this BB MVP might actually really hurt me. I might be getting a lot of blood on my hands and not even getting what I want. Yo, MVP, that's like when And that encourages you not to be a floater and actually play the game. The fact that nobody knows who the MVP is makes the game all the more challenging because in the past you could just suck up to the head of household and now you have to suck up to everybody. It's like, it's impossible not to like, I mean, everybody loves girls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to America, they're going to vote for girls. Let's say Caitlin will have MVP. <laughs> Caitlyn has my MVP, bro. She, she is not for sure, brother. Aaron, 
And who? Caitlin. Caitlin. Caitlin and, uh, is it Jen or Gina? Gina. GM. Jen? I call him GM. That girl's a firecracker. Yeah, she's fun. J Jesse's not bad either. None of them, man. Yeah, like, None I, I of them, man. On and on. I truly believe each week a lady is going to win the MVP. And since I'm not going to know who the Big Brother MVP is, I'm going to have to have a snuggle sesh with each and every one of these beautiful ladies. And you know what? I don't think that'll be too hard. I'm a pretty charming guy. I didn't want to win the first HOH. Literally, it would break my heart to put two people up. I know. Especially, like, at this point in time. So comfortable living in this house. I feel like it's going to get <laughs> too comfortable. <laughs> Like, we have things in common. Go for it. I mean, that's kind of too soon to tell, don't you think? Me and the ladies are in the bathroom talking about all the guys in the house. You know, we're three single ladies in the Big Brother house. Anything could happen. Now we need to come up with code names. And you, I'm not kidding. Well, yours is Ken, for sure. It's what? Ken. <laughs> you need to come up with a nickname. He's going to be Manhattan. We can call him Big. And why? How about Big? Yeah, Big. New York. New Big. <gasps> and you like the sailor. Me? Not you. Oh, OK. You're talking to me? Yeah. How do you even get that impression? He's all, I live on my boat. I live on my boat. I can't stand his voice. I want to be like, can I blow your nose for you? Like, blow. <laughs> blow. <laughs> Who wants to see my H.O.H. Oh, yeah. How do you know they're going to play that music? Like... <laughs> 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 All right, everyone ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Kind of like I'm in a New Jersey club. I want to sleep in there. Gummy bears? Yes! Super psyched about that. Being a super fan and walking into the HOH room, I was absolutely blown away. You know, I get to play with the remote. I get to look at the monitors. Cool. I've got a gold-plated bathtub. I've got fishies to look at. I'm living the life of luxury. I just like the sparkly pillow. The HOH room is super hot. I mean, this is the penthouse of the Big Brother world, and the pizza boy is living in it. Kind of makes me jealous. I'm not going to get HOH-itis. You get your head big.